Okay, everybody, uh, this is Baratunde Thurston. First journey in an elf. I haven't done this before. I just want you all to know something should happen to me. I did this for the survival of our species. I did this because I love this planet. And I love you, at least some of you. A business generally starts with an idea. But turning that idea into something real, that's the challenge. My name is Baratunde Thurston. Join me as I help share the story of the new face of business around the country. Welcome to Funded. I'm here with Rob Cotter, CEO of Organic Transit in Durham, North Carolina. Rob, what is Organic Transit and what is the ELF? Organic Transit is a company that designs and builds super efficient vehicles. And the ELF is a um, electric pedal hybrid vehicle that's legally a bicycle, solar powered. Okay and uh, go on bike paths and carry eight bags of groceries. Eight bags, that's a very precise number. Have you actually put eight bags in there? Absolutely. Does it stand for something? It stands for electric, light, and fun, but actually I really like the way the three capital letters came together. Yeah, so fun is officially a part of the name. Absolutely. What makes it fun? It's kind of like a street legal environmental go-kart for adults. It's very cool. <laughs> Disillusioned by his many years working in the luxury automotive industry in the 1980s, Rob began to see opportunities to rethink transportation, specifically human-powered transportation. More recently, he found himself working on a bike-sharing program and saw an opening in the market for a hybrid bike and from there started to make designs. One of my colleagues, Michael Lewis, uh, he actually has the record for most efficient electric vehicle. We worked on the designs of this uh, for about two years, just passing paperwork back and forth, back and forth. And what we needed was something that looked really cool, was inexpensive, uh, that was accessible for many people, and that was safe and fun in traffic. All this innovation and tech, you think a company like Organic Transit would make sense in a big city. But on the contrary, they decided on the small community of Durham, North Carolina for reasons you might not expect. Every area definitely has its benefits, yeah. right? Raleigh-Durham is a, you know, it's kind of a tech hub. Because of that, it brought a lot of investors. Um, Durham, in particular, is very, very open-minded. So it allowed us a platform to expand and open up rapidly. So they had a great design and a good cause. And in keeping with the true spirit of their company, they wanted to find funders who shared the vision of ELF, not just its profits. So they turned to crowdfunding. Most investment doesn't go for green issues. They're not necessarily interested in manufacturing things. They're not interested in manufacturing things in the U.S. or creating jobs in the green economy. So that's a bit of a challenge. And from the time we finished the um, prototype, it was about eight months till we did the Kickstarter campaign. Rob and his team aimed to not only raise money, but to prove a market for their product. In November 2012, they launched their Kickstarter with the goal of reaching $100,000. And thanks to the efforts of strategy director Alex Bowman, they more than doubled their goal, raising $225,789. For a small company in North Carolina, what happened was beyond their expectations. There were really like six or seven of us. <laughs> it was pretty small. Um, but it was very exciting to be kind of part of that. And you know, when everybody was watching the numbers climb and everyone was, when we hit the first goal, you know, I came in the morning and I got you know applause because we had already hit our goal, which was, uh, a good, pretty good feeling that yeah. everyone was on board. Their incredible success meant production needed to ramp up quickly. Also, shipping. We won't even get into shipping these things. But the organic transit team will take it, knowing they've affirmed a market for their product while maintaining their values. So what's next? We have other models in the pipeline. Okay. One is the Truckit, which is a commercial version that can carry like an 800-pound payload. We'd like to uh, have adaptation for the disabled. Um, we'd like to do... Uh, versions for developing nations. Mm. So it's a lot more than a transport device. Well, it's a transport device, and it's more than that, but it's more than just an urban solution as well. Building a manufacturing business is hard. However, with a dedicated group of supporters, a southeastern U.S. tech hub, and a cool design on a car or a bike or a car bike, Organic Transit shows us what's possible. Ready to go? Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.